trial is expected to begin today for a Virginia man connected to three violent crimes against women. The most are familiar with Jesse Matthew Jr. for the charges he faces and the death of University of Virginia student Hannah Graham. But today, his trial has to do with what investigators believe he did to another young woman years earlier in Northern Virginia. And that's where Tenio Sides Rico Bush picks up our coverage with what's expected in court today. Rico? Well, Don Katie, today, jury selection for Jesse Matthew Jr.'s sexual assault case is expected to begin. Matthew faces attempted capital murder charges for allegedly raping a 26 year old woman in Fairfax County in 2005. Now, the Fairfax prosecution is expected to rely heavily on DNA evidence in this case. Prosecutors believe DNA from the Fairfax rape victim's fingernail matches Matthew. Now, defense lawyers say recent news stories surrounding Matthew may have influenced the victim's story. They argue the woman's memory has been compromised over the time since Matthew's face was widely shown in the Hannah Graham case. Lawyers say the victim offered only a vague description of her attacker. Now, a capital murder conviction can carry the death penalty. Depending on a suspect's criminal history, we'll be keeping a clo eye, close eye on what's happening in this case. Stay with us for updates. I'm Rico Bush. Katie, back to you. Hi, Rico, thank you for that. And at 802, Matthew is also connected to the death of Virginia Tech student Morgan Harrington. She disappeared in 2009 after a Metallica concert at the University of Virginia. Police found her remains a year later. Matthew has not been charged in Harrington's death.